hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and as you guys read by the title today i'm going to do an in-depth routine i guess of what i use for my wash days throughout the month as you guys know i have a ton of products and it's kind of hard for me to navigate what i want to use and what i don't but first things first Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my new subscribers, to my old subscribers, to those of y'all who won't subscribe but keep watching my videos. Yeah, I'm calling y'all out. So definitely make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and definitely make sure to turn on your notification bells and let's get into it. So the way I do my wash day routines, it, my wash day basically consists of, of a shampoo, conditioner, and a deep conditioner. I know that some people only use a conditioner, like a rinse out conditioner or a deep conditioner, but I use both. Um, my hair is super thick and me trying to use half the container of deep conditioner to detangle my hair just isn't, it, it doesn't make sense deep conditioners are usually more expensive and that's what we're not about to do so i'm going to go through the four weeks of the month and the different cleansers and deep conditioner that i use and yeah so for the first week i usually like to completely strip my hair as you guys know i like to use a sulfate shampoo i know a lot of naturals don't but i like my hair to be squeaky clean i feel like it makes a conducive environment for hair growth and we love hair growth my hair has been going crazy so if you haven't tried it maybe you should but the shampoo i'm using right now is the talia waji um black earth product stimulating herbal hair cleanser and it says it's a pre-shampoo but y'all this is a shampoo shampoo um so for the winter time i probably will be switching this out for a sulfate condition sulfate shampoo that is more moisturizing so i'm thinking right now i have like the garnier honey treasures and I know that that's a super moisturizing shampoo and conditioner duo. So I'll probably be switching that out soon. But for right now, I'm using this to strip my hair. And then the conditioner I'm using is the Beauty and Planet Shea Butter and Sandalwood Purposeful Hydration Conditioner. So I use this a couple times a month. It's just a regular cheapy rinse out conditioner. I don't like this one. I wouldn't repurchase, but stay tuned for empties for that. And so for my deep conditioner for week one, I've been using the main choice peach black tea anti shedding and intense volume therapy mask and I already have a review on this on my channel and I will definitely link that up above because this is really really bomb it is 12 fluid ounces I want to say I'm a little more than halfway through now but I love this conditioner um i use it strictly as a moisturizing deep conditioner so since I'm stripping my hair I like to go home with a lot of moisture so that is why I have this so moving on to week two, to cleanse my hair, I don't wanna use another shampoo because I just stripped everything about my hair with that Talia Waji. So what I usually do for week two is I go in with the Melba's Detoxifying Buttermilk Stone Grit Scalp Scrub. So a scalp scrub, I have two scalp scrubs in my stash. This one and one from Curls of Essence that I haven't reviewed yet, but that's coming soon. Um, I just feel like it really gets in my scalp and does something that a shampoo won't do, but it's not enough to like really cleanse my hair. So then I go in with the Honey's Handmade Sweet Potato Low Poo Cleansing Co-Wash. Um, this is just a co-wash. It's one of my favorites. This one, I don't know if there was some type of um ingredient left out or something but this wasn't as good as the first one i had i still probably will repurchase it but um depending on how the third jar that i have we'll see if i continue to buy it because this one definitely was not my favorite but that's going to be a moisturizing base of course because i'm not using a shampoo so next for my deep conditioner for week two I am going to start using the Curls of Essence for Minute Rice Water and Hibiscus Conditioning Hair Mask. I can't speak on this just yet. There is going to be a review coming soon. Um, yeah, it's a protein. There's, It's a light protein mask. So because I went in with cleansing um, and conditioning cleansers, then I go in with something with a light protein just to make sure that I'm maintaining that moisture protein balance. So I will be using this. I haven't tried this yet though. So we'll see how I feel about this. So moving on to week three, I have a review on my channel of the Acure Beauty Shampoo and Conditioner. And that's what I go in with. It's the Argan Oil and Pumpkin. It smells just like Jergens. I'll also link that review up above too. But 
this is a semi stripping like my hair doesn't feel stripped at all um i usually pre poo before this anyway so my hair definitely feels super cleansed but it's not stripping as stripping as this talia waji like this will take everything out this is just making sure that base is maintained and for the conditioner i used up all of the acure beauty conditioner so i've just been going in with this um what is it beauty and planet conditioner this is just about gone so i've just been trying to use this up because it's not a favorite of mine and for the deep conditioner for week three i go in with the honey's handmade melba's omega-3 and fatty acid shaft penetrating hair mask and like i said it's the same thing since i am really cleansing my hair i like to go in with something moisturizing and this is pretty good i want to say i have a review of this on my channel as well so if i do i'll link that up above too okay so for the final week of the month the fourth week i am going in with the kc by cara cara curl essence moisturizing shampoo and conditioner i really like these these are bomb they're super moisturizing and they're like five dollars and mm, we let us see that it's like it's 12 ounces so if you are a natural on a budget i would definitely recommend these and they smell good so this is the moisturizing shampoo and conditioner set that i use for week four um just because i go in with a heavy protein conditioner so i want to make sure that i have the moisture in my hair before i rinse it out so the protein conditioner that i go in with is the tgin miracle repair x curl protein moisturizer and this is like a heavy duty protein mask so i definitely only use this once a month i would only recommend to use it once a month this is heavy duty and it's definitely going to bring your curls back i want to say i have a review on this too so you already know the drill but that's basically what i do throughout the month so i have a planner of course because i'm a senior in college and who has time to remember so i just write things down as the weeks go by and i just go through that whole system over and over again and i really feel like it's been helping my hair of course you don't need to have all these products if you have a moisturizing shampoo and a stripping shampoo i would just alternate those two you don't need to have four deep conditioners I'm just a product junkie and i have a bunch of stuff that i like to use up so i don't know for if you are a product junkie i feel like this is definitely a way to pump products out but i'm also heavy-handed so mm. but yeah y'all that's the end of this video i just wanted to bring this by i've had a lot of people ask me about how i decide what i use to cleanse and condition my hair as you guys know i'm not i don't really have any reason or rhyme for um styling products you guys know leave-in conditioner i seal it with either an oil or a butter and then i go ahead with my styler but the products i use just change by the week based on what i want to use so yeah y'all that's the end of this video so definitely like i said make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you turn on those notification bells and i will see you guys next time